हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन क्लास एलेवेंथ वी हैव सीन दैट इफ वाई इक्वल्स टू एफ एक्स हैज इट्स लिमिटिंग वैल्यू एट एक्स इक्वल्स टू ए देन इट्स लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट एंड राइट हैंड लिमिट मस्ट बी सेम लेफ्ट हैंड लिमिट मीन्स लिमिटिंग वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स टेंस टू ए माइनस इफ वी आर चेकिंग द लिमिटिंग वैल्यू एट एट एक्स इक्वल्स टू ए देन ए माइनस मीन्स लेस देन ए and the right hand limit means limiting value of function when x tends to a plus it means something greater than a so if the function having the same value right if the function has having the same value then we can merge these two concept to a single concept limit x tends to a fx only okay so graphical representation of this concept is uh, suppose at x is equal to a is here and we are interesting to find the left hand limit it means uh, approaching from left towards a so every numbers left to a is something less than a and right hand limit means approaching from right to a so every numbers uh, towards uh, right from a is something greater than so if this left hand limit and right hand limit is same then we can say that limiting value of the function at x is equal to a exist in the similar way we can also understand the concept of continuity of a function so if a function is continuous at x is equal to j a we can say that left hand limit right hand limit and the value of function at x is equal to a must be same it means limit x tends to a minus fx is equal to limit x tends to a plus fx is equal to fm this tells us about the left hand limit and this tells us about the right hand limit and this tells the value of function at x is equal to a so condition is very clear कि इफ लेफ्ट हैंड राइट हैंड एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एट ऑफ एक्स एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू ए इज सेम देन अ गिवन फंक्शन इज कंटिन्यूस अदरवाइज डिसकंटिन्यूस इफ एनी कंडीशन फेल्स हियर सपोज दिस इज नॉट इक्वल टू दिस एंड दिस इज इक्वल टू दिस देन कंडीशन फेल्स सपोज दिस इक्वल्स टू दिस बट नॉट इक्वल्स टू दिस condition also fails so in all cases huh, when these three are not equal um, it is always discontinuous when you are this three are equal then and only then function is continuous so let's check this concept by a given function y equals to greatest integral of x we know from the graph when you are x is uh, less than 1 and greater than equal to 0 greatest integral value is 0 and when we consider x greater than equal to 1 and less than 2 greatest integral value is 1 and like that so when you are 0 when you are x varying from 0 to 1 its value is 0 right like this and when your value of x varying from 1 to 2 its value is 1 that's why it is 1 so you can see that at integral points graph is open circle graph has open circle it means there is no value here right so it is discontinuous graph okay so it is also known as piece wise graph something piece like so if we check the continuity of x at x is equal to 2 left hand limit is something less than 2 function is great greatest integer x so 2 minus means something less than 2 so 1.9999 its greatest integer value is 1 okay and right hand limit means limit x tends to 2 plus 2 plus means something greater than 2 so 
the greatest integer value of 2.001 is 2 and f2 means greatest integral of 2 it is 2 so it is clearly uh, that it is clear that uh, left hand limit is 1 right hand limit is 2 and the value of x at x equals 2 is 2 so here yeah, left hand not equal to right hand because 1 is not equal to 2 but right hand limit is equal to f2 it is 2 2 so the condition uh, left hand equals to right hand equals to fa breaks here that's why we can say that function is not continuous at x equals to 2 so this is the way for a fun this is a way to check okay a given function is continuous or not continuous so according to this concept we can solve question number from question number from 1 to 13 page number cs7 uh, cs7 chapter and the page number is 38 to 39 okay it is homework please do it by yourself now we move to the another concept concept number two in this concept we will discuss if function is given that it is continuous at x equals to something right then find the another any constant whichever which is given in your question so here fx is equal to this and it is continuous at x equals to 0 right then find the value of k so since uh, it is said that function is continued at x equals to 0 so left hand limit right hand limit and the value of function at x equals to 0 must be same so <clears throat> 0 minus means something less than 0 i mean less than 0 and 0 plus means something greater than 0 so according to this condition x is not equal to 0 it means what either it is greater than 0 or either it is less than 0 so in both cases we only take this function right so if it is less than 0 and if it is greater than 0 fx we can merge because in both cases same function can be considered so we can merge this concept limit extend to 0 fx it is equal to f0 right so the function is limit x tends to 0 1 minus cos 4x divided by 8x square is equal to k so we can uh, uh, write uh, 1 minus cos 4x equals to 2 sin square 2x divided by 2 into 4 2x ka whole square right it the value of this is 8x square so 2 2 cancel out and we can arrange this to sin 2x divided by 2x whole square right and this is equal to k so you know that limit x tends to 0 sin something divided by same g it must be equal to 1 right it is 1 so 1 equals to k that's why the value of k is 1 solve take the another example let fx equals to k cos x divided by pi minus 2x when x is not equal to pi by 2 and it is 3 when x is equal to pi by 2 this function is continuous at x is equal to pi by 2 then we have to find the value of k similarly since fx is continuous at x is equal to 90 that's why the value left hand limit value right hand limit value and value of function at pi by 2 must be same so here we can also see that whenever uh, x tends to pi by 2 minus it means less than pi by 2 so see here uh, x is not equal to 90 it means either it is less than 90 or either it is greater than 90 in both cases we can consider this function so function is same in both cases that's why we can merge this con these two values in a single value limit x tends to 90 fx and here f pi by 2 and the value of pi by 2 is 3 okay so now if we put the value x is equal to 90 here it is k cos 90 divided by pi minus 2 pi by 2 so cos 90 is 0 
and uh, pi minus this value is zero so it is zero by zero so we can apply here l hospital rule right so differentiate numerator and denominator with respect to x so if we differentiate cos x it is minus sin x if we differentiate this it is minus 2 now it is minus k sin x divided by minus 2 minus minus cancel out and if you put the value of x is equal to 90 in sin x it is 1 so k by 2 equals to 3 that's why k is equal to 6 so it is the solution now according to the concept discussed here we can solve the question number 19 and 20 page number ch40 so try to solve this now we will discuss on third concept whenever function is given in like this and here two constants are given in previous question there was only one constant but in this con in this uh, problem uh, there are two con two constants are given and it is said that it is continuous and here it is not mentioned that at which value of x it is continuous so we can understand from the question always take first number like this and second number like this right so continuity can be checked at x equals to 3 and x equals to 5 so first of all we check the continuity at x equals to 3 actually there is no need to check because it is said that it is continuous so continuity at x is equal to 3 means left hand right hand and f3 must be same so limiting value x 3 tends to 3 or minus fx limiting value x tends to 3 plus fx is equal to f3 this must be same because it is continuous at x equals to 3 so uh, here it is interesting that in previous uh, question we merge these two because fx was same in both cases but in this case whenever we consider x tends to 3 minus function can be taken 1 whenever it is 3 plus we can take this function so functions are different so we can't merge these two okay so uh, take the individual values of this limit so limit x tends to 3 minus it is 1 and limit uh, x tends to 3 plus it is a x plus b and f3 f3 is because it is x is less than equal to 3 so f3 is 1 okay so it is 1 so this value is 1 and we put 3 at x is equal to at the, at the value of x so it is 3a plus b it is equal to 1 so we we have a we have an equation 1 is equal to 3a plus b now check the continuity at x is equal to 5 so left hand limit right hand limit and the value of fx at 5 so uh, see whenever x tends to 5 minus it means less than 5 so at, in case x is less than 5 we can take this function so here we have this function and the value of, of these two is 7 7 because it is at greater than and equal to 5 so always 7 so it is uh, 5 a plus b equals to 7 so we have another equation so solve these two equations we find the value of a and b okay thank you